This is the Marvel Legends series, Marvel 80 Years, the X-Men 2-pack featuring Marvel's Colossus and the Juggernaut. Pretty amazing set. This is probably the set I was most excited to get. Uh, together with the Iron Spider and the Mark 50 uh, MCU set. Wow, look at this. It's so <laughs> classic. Look, I never had that comic book, but uh, I remember reading uh, back in the day uh, about the first, my first experience of Colossus was in this uniform and Silvestri drew him when, even before Jim Lee, this was, this was his outfit and he continued to wear this of sorts. And um, yeah, I've been meaning to get this Colossus. Really, the set, I mean, the Juggernaut was just a plus, one of my favorite villains in the Uncanny X-Men, but this set I wanted to get mainly for Colossus. So, I picked these uh, figure set at uh, Hobby Corner, and uh, let's get it out of packaging. And here are Colossus and the Juggernaut out of packaging, and easily. This set is probably, if you're an X-Men fan, this is the best set out of all the 80 years sets, at least the first wave of 80 year sets Hasbro has released for the Marvel Legends series, and I absolutely love it. Uh, this, this set is just preaching to the choir right now because I love both characters, and for Hasbro to do a set, an updated version of these characters. Uh, it is just absolutely mind-blowing. I'm so grateful to Hasbro for doing this. I mean, it took some time, definitely. Uh, collectors have had to put up with the old Toy Biz Colossus, and then they had to go through the Marvel Select Colossus, Colossus, and then Hasbro released the modern Colossus. It was great, but it wasn't quite the one we wanted. Now we have the classic Jim Lee, Mark Silvestri, Colossus. I am absolutely amazed by this figure. I love it. Easily one of my favorite Colossus figures that I've, I've, I've gotten. Uh, and the Juggernaut, I mean, you know, who doesn't love the Juggernaut, right? Look how awesome he looks. And I reckon this set is going to be one of the more popular sets for a lot of these Marvel Legends fans. So, uh, let's start with the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut is a rehash of the original uh, Build-A-Figure Juggernaut figure. Uh, they've given him a lighter shade of maroon uh, instead of the old uh, deep crimson or deep brown color. I don't have that figure anymore. Uh, I let it go, but um, as you can see right here, uh, they've given him a different uh, a different color. Not sure if you're seeing it, but this one is more of a reddish uh, hue to it, and the original uh, Builder figure had a more brownish look to it. So yeah, it was okay. This one's actually pretty good. Uh, the head sculpt, I thought, was a little bit too small on this one. So everyone kept on swapping the Marvel Select uh, head sculpt for this one. Uh, what I do like about this head sculpt for uh, for what it's worth is the painted eyes. Because here, as you can see, the eyes are like whitewashed and he's like in demon mode or or unstoppable mode but the helmet is actually more comic book accurate than this one i love this one the smoother one uh rather than the pummeled version because you know he's unstoppable right nobody can stop him so that helmet you know protects him from all psychic attacks and all that and it should be pristine not like this one this one though has a belt but in the comic books I actually don't remember him wearing a belt. Sometimes he did, sometimes he didn't. And I kind of like him better in his jumpsuit. Um, yeah, so yeah, but everything else is the same. The armbands, the fists, the closed fists, the boots. It's the same mold, uh, just painted differently. Stripes are much thicker on this one than this one. So yeah, uh, it's an updated version of the Juggernaut. I'm, I'm actually pleased with it. And I just wish they would have, they could have kept this one open uh, with the regular painted eyes, but they, they made this demon charging mode. Arr, I'm the juggernaut. And that we get an extra pair of hands. This is the gripping hand and an open hand. Actually, quite not, not 
that big of a fan of these. Um, I reckon Hasbro is playing around with these alternate hands uh, to see the scale because you know what? We need an updated blob. I mean, that old Build-A-Figure blob is going for bonkers uh, online. And I think Hasbro should come up with an updated version of Fred Dukes just to, you know, because they can do this big of a figure. I think, I think they could do a much bigger version. And these hands, I think, are testament to that. And they could be for the blob. Okay. All yeah. right. One last bit of accessory that the Juggernaut comes with. Uh, is this unmasked head sculpt look at that absolutely lovely really nice nice bruise hair sculpt the paint wash very cool i'll put it on later but uh, just to give you a good look at it and then the uh torn up helmet maybe slashed by wolverine's claws and you know they'll he'll be prone now to psychic attacks uh because of, of the helmet being uh, being ripped apart and uh, his, his half brother can professor xavier can shut him off put him to sleep so uh, yeah so everything about the juggernaut is the same the articulation is going to be seen i'll be discussing it as you can see you can get him in some serious poses very cool i don't think there's any mold degradation on it uh same details quality some complaints about the paints uh paint apps on this one there's a little bit of a wash issue right here on uh, my copy of the figure is a bit of smudging right there so just be wary of that uh the teeth eyes they came out perfectly i don't think there was anything wrong with uh, quality for this just one be wary of these there's some bits and pieces of, of black ink here and there and other than that uh solid solid figure okay on to colossus the Mutant with Organic Steel. One of my favorite, favorite X-Men together with Archangel was Colossus. I love this figure. And suffice to say, we are getting a brand new sculpt with this figure. I thought they'd be recycling bits and pieces here and there. Uh, maybe they did, but... Uh, the hands at least. But uh, I thought this was a brand new sculpt. Uh, I, I really liked it. It's so classic looking. They put the, even the way they sculpted the figure, they made his uh, trunks just up to here, but they put the, they put the thigh cut right here. So it's really, really a cool sculpt. If at all, I'll have any complaints is the way the, the feet have been sculpted. It feels like he's wearing some clogs instead of a full boot. Uh, and as you can see, like his his leg thins out and narrows out right here and then sort of expands into a boot. Uh, I guess that's the way they sculpted it. They did that on purpose, but it just feels like he's wearing some clogs instead of these kick-ass boots. That's about it, uh, if I'm going to nitpick. But everything else is fine. Uh talk about detail look at that look at those eyes i mean look at that expression on colossus face it would be nice if they gave us an alternate head like an un uh, unarmored head like the flesh head but then they'd have to it wouldn't match if you put it on so i guess that's fine has a nice belt paint apps on this figure almost perfect there is some paint chipping happening going on Right there, when I opened the box, it was already there. I didn't notice it right there. Uh, the base coat is white, and they painted it with uh, yellow. Uh, I reckon that happened because uh, this centerpiece right here is made of soft PVC material. They super glued it with the actual hard plastic, and when they painted it, uh, I guess the paint didn't latch on as firmly as with regular plastic. So there's that chipping going on. So belt buckle painted nicely. Separate pieces for the armbands or bracelets. Uh, knee pads, very nice. Yeah, just overall a really, really nice Colossus mold. Okay, the figure also comes with an extra with two pairs of hands he's got the open hands and the clenched fist fist 
hand. So nicely sculpted, very, very nice. Does not come with a stand. This is a Revel Tech stand from the Amazing Yamaguchi Deadpool by Kaido. So it doesn't come with that. Articulation for the figure, he's, he's got a ball jointed neck that is on a hinge, ab crunch, waist swivel, ball hinge shoulders, go this way and that way, bicep swivel, just a single hinge ratcheting elbow. I was very surprised with that. Uh, it, it, it dampened articulation a little bit, but not entirely a deal breaker. I I would just wish they would have made it a double jointed uh, elbow, but maybe the sculpt was too thick for that, so it's fine. Ball hinge wrists, swivel, and it goes in and out. Ball jointed hips, lots of range of motion for that, very nice. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, no calf swivel, ball hinge ankles with the rocker pivot. And for size comparisons, uh, here are both figures with the Apocalypse. Build a figure and Wolverine. Now, the Juggernaut, you probably know how tall he is already since it's just a repaint, redeco. But the new Colossus figure, head to toe, uh, stands roughly just under seven and a half inches tall. It's like seven and a third inches tall. So, some final thoughts on this set. If you're a big Marvel Legends, X-Men fan, this set is an absolute no-brainer. You have got to pick up this set. Don't pay me too much for it. Out here in Manila, this set is selling for about $80, $90. You know, it's fine. Uh, standard prices for Marvel Legends figures, for normal, normal size figures, are about $30 here in Manila. I know it sucks, but that's the way it is. For figures like this, like a BAF figure, they go for about $60. So for 60 plus 30, about $90. I think it's well worth it, especially for those uh, collectors here in Manila. You, you cannot let this set pass. If there was, if you're a big X-Men fan, you, if there's one set you have to get for these 80 years, this is the one to pick up. I'm glad Hasbro is re-releasing um, characters and figures uh, done in the 90s and 80s and, and just classic look to them. This is what fans want and kudos to Hasbro for listening to the fans. With that, this set is obviously going to get a 10 out of 10. Best of luck to everybody hunting this set down. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the set. Uh, click that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my new videos. This has been the Marvel Legends series, Marvel 80 Years, X-Men 2-Pack, Marvel's Colossus, and the unstoppable Juggernaut. Thanks for watching. We'll